Hey guys, Alex and Mako here, running for the District Track Club in Under Armour. Hi everyone, my name is Logan Wilson and I'm a former athlete at the University of Wyoming. Hi, I'm Michelle Howell, I'm a professional runner for the District Track Club. Hey guys, my name is Morgan Prophet. I am a retired professional athlete. Um, just got done playing soccer for Seattle Rain. Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Hahn Peters and I am a retired professional triathlete. I know with everything that's going on, it's pretty hard to get to work out. So many gyms are closed, so many tracks are closed, but that's not an excuse to get the work in. I'm here to show you an exercise that I love. It's good for my hips and my glutes. It's called the glute hand, glute raise. You lay down, arms flat on the ground, and just lift the hips and glutes up. When you lift the hips up, squeeze those glutes. You hear? Back down, here. Back there, here, back down. Three sets of 10 and the work is all done, guys. Today, we are going to demonstrate you the plank shoulder taps. So first we're gonna get in a plank position like this, and then we're gonna, oh, you know, and I'm gonna hold my right hand up, touch my left shoulder, put it back and reset. Then I'm gonna pick my left hand up, touch my right shoulder, and then reset. And when you're doing them, try to keep your core super tight and your hips level so that you're not swaying back and forth and you're getting a really good burn in throughout the whole body. Stay safe out there and God bless. My favorite at home exercise is crunchy frogs. So to do crunchy frogs, you get down on the ground. You're gonna come in, hug yourself really nice and tight, lower all the way to the ground to a hover, come right back up. So crunchy frog. I usually do about 20 to 25 of these, take a break, and then do another set. have a quick few exercises you can do at home. Stay healthy, stay safe. My favorite go-to is core. So we're gonna do a plank. Get on your elbows. You're gonna hold. Try and keep your butt down. I like to do it for about a minute, but try and do it as long as you can. And then challenge yourself, go to one side. Okay, hold for about 30 seconds. And then you're gonna dip up and down. Do as many as you want, and then even it up, do the other side. And then finally, finish up. You're gonna go on your hands and knees like you're on a push up, and you're just gonna tap your shoulders. Do as many as you want. And that's a good, good little core exercise to keep you engaged and keep you moving. Stay healthy. Today I'm going to give you a couple of exercises that you can do at home either with your friends and family members or perhaps a furry friend. So for my first exercise we're going to do what are called toe taps. 
So for toe taps, first thing is we're going to be in the supine position on our back, head on the floor, and arms against the ground. And to protect our back, we're gonna come up one leg at a time. And then we're gonna keep our, chin, our shins parallel to the ground, point our toes, and just as it sounds, we're gonna tap our toes. And left leg. And also, you wanna make sure that you're breathing, so it helps if you exhale going down, inhale going up, and let's do one more with the left leg. So exhale, inhale coming up. Now, if we wanna make this a little bit harder, we can also put our hands straight over our head and do exhale going down, inhale going back up. And let's bring our legs back down once again, one at a time, protecting our back. I'm going to show you um, is called in and out so not in and out burger but just as fun and how you perform this one is we're going to start out with our arms in Tarzan position across our chest and once again one by one bring our legs out and then slowly bring them in bring them back out slowly bring them in and that is in and out um, Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are staying safe, stay healthy, take care of each other, and stay active.